Hello everyone, Nello from MaxSpeedMotorsports.com This is the video number two, or if you'd like, step number two when installing our uh, backup camera kit. So, uh, once you determine on step one or video one that your PCM 3.1 is compatible, the next thing you need to know is that the PCM will need to be coded, not programmed, but coded to accept the backup camera. In other words, <clears throat> we have to tell the PCM that the car has a built-in backup camera. If we don't code the PCM, the camera will never work, nothing's gonna work. So now for all your do-it-yourself type of guys uh, that are doing this uh, in the comfort of their own home, uh, this is a very, very easy step. Now, regardless whether you're taking the car to a shop or not, uh, your shop, might charge you uh, a lot more for programming i am not sure however if you prefer coding the pcm yourself this is the easiest way to do it sometimes believe it or not i have to assist shops into coding the pcm because they have absolutely no clue how to do that so in order to avoid all those types of edicts unless you're really dealing with a knowledgeable shop uh, that will uh, that uses um a good quality scanner or the Porsche factory P with scanner then maybe you leave it up to them however this will save you a bunch of time and a bunch of questions from your installer so this is very simple this little tool that you see here is a OBD2 coding tool so basically the job of this tool is to code the PCM that's all it does it doesn't do nothing else but coding the PCM and as far as uh, using a scanner and stuff, I will get to this later. But for now, let's focus on this OBD2 coder. So the way we use this is very, very simple. So you have a red switch here. It's got to be depressed. When it's depressed, uh, that means it's in a uh, off state. As soon as we push the red button, it's on. It will do its coding. So make sure prior to inserting the tool in the OBD2 socket, you wanna make sure it's depressed. Now on the uh, Porsches, 911, Boxster, Caymans, there's two possibility. The most frequent one is that most of the time it's located behind the fuse box at the bottom. But in this model, it is not. Uh, there's a few Porsches I have, I have seen, I cannot determine which years or which models, they will have the OBD2 socket underneath the dash. So what we wanna do, and I'm doing this live, and this, this PCM is not coded, and I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna insert the key. So if we go to the PCM, uh, to access the menu to verify if you're PCM has been coded, for example, you would click on car option and set car and vehicle functions. Let's see. And under this uh, setting, you will see uh, the uh, backup camera menu. Uh, if I recall correctly, that's the way it is, but we'll get to it. We'll go back to it. So basically, as you can see here, there is no um, backup camera uh, coded or even installed if you'd like. Otherwise, uh, the PCM would show that. So what we want to do is um, pretty much put the car in the on position. You may want to switch your lights to the off position as well to use uh, less power as possible. If you do have a weak battery, I suggest you put a battery charger. Uh, as this can take anywhere from one minute to 10 minutes. Now, most of the time this works on the first attempt. However, if your PCM is always showing service function and is not rebooting, uh, what you wanna do is turn the key off, remove the uh, coding tool and repeat the process again. All right, so once again, if you're waiting more than 10 minutes and the PCM has not rebooted, you will have to turn the key off, remove the OBD2 coding tool, and repeat the process again. So uh, we have the key in the on position. The red button is depressed. And I'm gonna insert this 
I'm sorry guys, I'm gonna try to do this so you guys can see it. So now that it's fully inserted, make sure it's fully inserted. Okay, we're gonna press the red button and you will see the PCM going to service function. I'm sorry for the shaking guys. So I am pressing the button as we speak. There you go. So it's going on service and let's see what it does. It should reboot shortly. If it doesn't, within 10 minutes, I will turn the key off and redo this again. All right, guys. Uh, the other thing is uh, I mentioned, uh, you know, 10 minutes. Uh, you know, technically, uh, you should wait. However, uh, what I noticed after using the tool several times myself, after about two minutes, if the uh, service screen is always on and nothing is happening, you can shut off the key and restart the process. Once again, you don't have to wait 10 minutes. Two minutes is sufficient. All right, guys, uh, since I've done this many, many times, a minute has gone by and it still didn't reboot. So it means it needs a second attempt. So I'm gonna turn the key to the off position, remove the key, depress the red button. All right. I'm going to close the door, reopen the door, Maybe it's not necessary, but I always do it. So I'll put the key back in and your radio is back to working. It doesn't damage anything. So if I go to car and option, set car, vehicle functions, I do not see the uh, backup camera. So we're gonna repeat the process again. I'm glad this happened because it does happen to some customers and they get worried so let's do this again. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. There you go. All right. One, two, three, go. There you go. As you can see, second attempt, the PCM shut down and it will reboot. Shouldn't be too long. There you go. The PCM rebooted. So there you go. So as you can see, guy on a, guys, on a real live example, it took two attempts. And basically right now it's coded. So what I'm going to do is depress the switch, pull this off, and I'm done with the coding. Now let's go back to the car and option menu to verify that it did indeed program it, uh, code it. Car, option. So we do have the park assist grayed out, all right, and set parking, right? And as you can see, the camera menu is present, all right? Now, as far as using this coding, all right, guys, so now as far as um, using the coding tool, the only drawback you will get is that this coding tool will code park assist and a backup camera both of them at the same time of course most of you i would think don't have park assist so basically regardless it will not function all right so what you can do is just uh pretty much uncheck the park assist if you don't have park assist 
and that's the end of the story however when you use the tool it will code both park assist and backup camera as well so in this case i'll leave it checked so basically as you can see here the camera is not installed yet but we do have a backup camera menu this confirms to us that the pcm is coded and ready to accept a backup camera now uh, of course what we did is activate a uh, backup uh, camera menu on the pcm however you will not um, have all the factory functions as if this was installed at the factory so in other words you see the rvc rear view camera grid lines whether you check that or uncheck that it doesn't make a difference if you ordered your camera your camera without uh, any guidelines it'll be with no guidelines that's built into the camera if you ordered with guidelines it will be with guidelines you cannot select on and off using this menu this is only for a factory camera which i believe porsche only installed in 2016 in some porsches okay but the rest of the boxsters uh, came in and all that i have yet to see one of those cars with a backup camera the only thing i seen was a 911 a 16 model with a backup camera from the factory so basically once again you will not be able to use the factory menus like the RVC grid lines. You'll be able to uh, go into the uh, rear view camera picture parameters and uh, show rear view camera image. Right now they're not working because there's no cameras, but you'll be able to on a standstill to show the image without putting it in reverse and work with the parameters, I believe brightness and stuff like that. However, uh, once again, for those of you who don't have park assist, it really uh, just uncheck it that's all you need to do if you do have park assist leave it checked and um, pretty much rear view camera uh, check uncheck basically it disables the menu you're telling the PCM that there's no rear view camera you could turn it off if you'd like by clicking the rear view camera now unless I'm wrong I never use these functions I mean mine and my car I put on reverse and I use my backup camera and I don't mess around with the menu uh, but I do believe you can disable the camera. I could be wrong, but if I remember, you could. Now, uh, going back to um, the option, so to access the camera, you will go to set parking. And again, as you can see here, uh, the park assist is grayed out, all right? So let's go back to car options, set car, set parking, park assist, unchecked, and so on. So basically, that's pretty much what it is so hopefully um, this video explained to you very well how to use the obd2 coding tool and how the um, how to tell that it's been coded correctly and once again don't panic if and on the first shot you can get it that's normal it happens a few times sometimes it happens in 30 seconds it's done sometimes it can take a while i suggest you wait like a couple of minutes not a minute like i did because i do so many uh, i pretty much know them but in your case let's be safe uh, you know after two to three minutes if nothing happens you turn the key off you depress the red button on the coding tool and you uh, remove the coding tool and you restart the process again so um so let me add to the uh, video for those of you who will go see a uh, independent mechanic that does have a scanner if they have a PWIS Porsche factory tool, a lot of indie shops that specialize in Porsche will have a scanner. You don't have to rent our coding tool. Um, again, it makes it a lot easier if you do rent it because you can do it in the comfort of your own home. You don't need the mechanic. Basically, you bring in the car, it's already coded. All he has to do is install the camera. So, uh, however, if you choose to have your, your um, technician or mechanic do it, they must own a PWIS Porsche scanner or an advanced scanner such as the Autel Maxisys Pro or Elite that's able to code modules and I believe some other highly advanced scanners. So basically uh, at this point if you're using a professional that knows what he's doing he will have no problem to code the PCM. They have to get into the PCM module, click on, on the uh, coding functions and enable the backup camera. 
if they have scanners. Once again, by renting the OBD2 tool, it is a lot easier for you, less headaches, and the job gets done. Now, um, keep in mind that we only have a certain amount of OBD2 tools, and we urge and ask you to please return the tool as soon as possible. You have other people waiting. Some guys take forever. They send it back two months later. Uh, we, we did uh, right now as we're renewing the videos and the content of the description, uh, we will also enforce uh, a new rule where if we don't see the uh, coding tool back within two weeks after you received it, you, you pretty much own it. You, you will not get your security deposit back. Uh, we heard stories of people, oh, yeah, I went on vacation and this and that. It takes two, three months to get it back. It's nonsense. And, you know, for other people to wait. So once again, we don't get it in two weeks. You own it. All right, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching the video. Hopefully this uh, clarifies the coding part of the backup camera kit. Thank you.